Hello and welcome back to my channel, Mend with Mare. All right, today we are going to go into the five most infuriating, annoying, frustrating, commonly used mental health sayings that I personally cannot stand. And I'm gonna explain why. You might not agree, you might interpret the sayings in a different way, I find them to be really, really frustrating. I could actually say a lot of expletives about how annoying they are. The number one is what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. No, no, it doesn't. You must not understand trauma. This statement is incredibly invalidating. It's meant to encourage someone to look at their situation like, it didn't kill you, so it's made you stronger. Look at it that way. No, no, do you know what trauma does to people? Trauma in life can cause you to have memory loss, intrusive thoughts, nightmares, things that are really awful. The saying doesn't make it better by hearing it at all. I know Kelly Clarkson has that song. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Stand a little taller. I think that's how it goes. Sorry, Kelly, I, I, I kind of disagree with. Casey Musgraves has a better version of it with her song where she says, what doesn't kill me better run. And I like that one. If it's a person that's caused you a lot of pain and almost pushed you to the brink, then they better run out of your way. But if you've dealt with a traumatic event, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are stronger. Sometimes bad things just happen and there's nothing sometimes that's positive that comes out of them. I'm just being real. Okay, a common saying that a lot of therapists use, and I will say I have used it in the past. I used it a lot and now I absolutely regret it. The saying is feelings are not facts. I used to use this feelings are not facts all the time with my clients because if they would state that they feel like a loser, um, that's when I would use it. Well, just because you, you feel like a loser does not mean that you're a loser. This can be turned on people. This can be used against them. I know because it happened to me. One time I was approaching someone with something that really hurt me and I felt that it was imperative that I that I actually talk about it. I don't love confrontation. And I know that the person that I was telling, it would be perceived as a confrontation, even though I just was trying to share how their behavior had impacted me. And I often teach clients to say, I feel blank when you blank. It helps people not to be defensive and so that they can actually hear what the person is saying. So instead of being accusatory, like you did this and you did that, you're saying, I felt hurt when you did X, Y, and Z. There's something about coming from feeling place that's really important so that people can take it in. Well, when I did this, the person's defense was, well, feelings aren't facts. Feelings aren't facts, Meredith. <laughs> so I was like, oh no, oh no. I said, oh no, I need to take that out. All of the good intention of that statement is to help somebody when they are feeling very, very low or awful about themselves by saying like, it's not the truth. You are more than just how you're feeling in this moment. But when somebody uses it to dismiss your feeling, it's too gross. So I now am making a point of not to use it anymore. It's just a suggestion. Think about not using it. Just don't use it. Okay, my number three is time heals all wounds. No, no it doesn't. Lots of people will wait and wait to no longer feel the way that they do because they believe that the time passing will get rid of the emotions that they feel. This can let people off the hook from addressing their own issues and processing what they've dealt with. Like what is the trauma? What is the pain that time needs to heal? Look, sometimes time passing will give you perspective. It will help you see things in a different light. I, I'm totally for all of that. It doesn't heal all the wounds. It doesn't. Sometimes things are awful and painful and you wish you never had to go through them and you can't really see the silver lining in it and that is okay too. Number four is keep your friends close but your enemies closer. No. It is important to be aware of people in your life that have some kind of intent to speak ill of you. 
But this saying is giving justification for people to keep negative people in their lives. And really this just breeds paranoia. This statement just screams paranoid. And that's no way to live. I don't wanna live in a paranoid state. I don't wanna keep the people that have done me harm or I think are speaking badly about me around me. When I hear it, it makes me cringe. That's why I included it. It just, it's paranoia. It's a paranoid thought. It helps breed it. It's no good. And my last, but definitely not least, saying is pick yourself up by your bootstraps. Boots would have that little like hook, little strap on the back and you pick them up and you wanna do it yourself. It was really just like ironic saying. And somehow over the years, it's gone from irony to this deluded way to ignore the real barriers that lots of people experience in life. This assumption is being made that all it takes to get further ahead in life is to do it yourself. There's things like brain chemistry that could be affecting depression. So maybe pick yourself up by your bootstraps. You can just let go of that saying it. Don't say it anymore. Thank you. <laughs> oh, one more, one more. I think I forgot. I don't even know what number I'm on at this point. Yeah, I'm a therapist. I'm not a mathematician. But <laughs> another saying that needs to go bye-bye is hurt people hurt people. Yeah, that's, that's true. Hurt people can hurt people. But all of us have been hurt in some way. That doesn't mean that you don't take accountability for your behaviors and your actions that harm someone else. Just because you're hurt does not give you a pass to continue to hurt other people. I sometimes hear my clients tell me about this saying being used by people in their lives to just dismiss someone's actions. So instead of people being accountable for what they do, instead they say, oh, well, they were hurt. You know, hurt people hurt people. It's like, okay, what am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with that? People's behaviors and actions still impact your life expecting you to be passive to take whatever people do to you which i i don't think is okay it's just not okay so hurt people hurt people sayonara goodbye do not need to hear that anymore okay i hope this was fun for you maybe you agree disagree go ahead and comment down on the bottom like and subscribe please to my channel i will see you soon be well